All right, man, Alec Baldwin, uh, comment on the airport, little fight with the former football NFL player. He played for like the Calvary in the Canadian Football League. I forget his name, Brandon something. So he commented on the little video, you know, and I'm not going to bring up what happened on the movie set and he talking about a dude, but just trying to do his job. I'm pretty sure I've seen the video. You know, anytime you put your hands on somebody, I don't care, you know, you can say what you want to say. As long as you don't spit on me, put your hands on me, you know, punch me or something like that, you know, then, you know, it's fair, you know, cool. But once you put your hands on me and, you know, and, you know, it's all, all chivalry is done. All respect go out the window. Now you got to earn my respect in the ultimate gentleman sport and these, these hands. <laughs> and, um, and old boy did what he's supposed to do. You ain't going to swing on me. Care how many, how much, how much short? I don't care how many people the airport short or whatever airline you you short on. I don't care what I say to you, nigga. The customer always right, but you always gonna get you know people playing the victim. That's what you are gonna get. You always gonna get you know people that look like the uh, dude in the airport and that look like Alec Baldwin. They always gonna play the victim if they right or wrong. That's why I don't like going to sporting events no more. You know, that's why I don't like kind of being in the white bars too much, neither. Because they want to get drunk and get, or they get mad and they feel like they can just do whatever they want to do to to, to, to to minorities. You know? Then when, then when it don't go that way, then they want to play the victim like Alec Baldwin. Yeah, Alec Baldwin just showing y'all what his true colors is. You know? He's showing y'all that he don't really like black people. I'll tell you that right now. He should be the last person talking, but, you know, I ain't going to just be an airport plane low as hell. I just, I, you know, I just ain't going to, you know, bring up what happened on the movie set. I said I wouldn't. But he just let you know that he don't like black people. Because the roles, the rever roles was reversed. He would have he would have been saying what I'm saying. Well, he put his hands on him. Oh, he was just saying, the guy's trying to do his job and that loud mouth is just, that's called word for that ninja was running his mouth and he deserved to get hit. And you swung on me, that's exactly what's supposed to happen. Beats by Dre. And then he want to play the victim because you got your face busted up. You you deserve that. You you earned every, every inch of that right hand. Every, all the impact, you earned it. So, that, you know, like I said before, just let you know. Internet is a place where everybody have, can have an opinion, no matter how dumb your opinion is or how dumb your platform is. It seems like the dumber the more the dumber your opinion is, and the more controversial your opinion is, the more ignorant your opinion is. It just seems like you get more traction. That was a dumb opinion by him. I don't care what I said to you, nigga. The customer's always right. And you put your hands on me. He a lot of people would have done a lot of worse. You probably would have got stumped out all the way in, in the back of that. And he should have lost his job. But you know the privilege, you know the vibe, the privilege vibes. He should have lost his job. If we keeping a humbug, he should have lost his job. Swinging on the customer. And he's very fortunate that it was just him. He was in a group of people, you got stumped out. Malik Baldwin might care about your opinion. You just showing that you just showing your prejudice. I mean, I can call it worse than prejudice because it's different between racist and prejudice. But we just gonna say he's showing his prejudice. You know, that's what he's doing. But hey, everybody entitled to opinion on the internet. His opinion was just dumb or prejudice, which you know, whatever one he feels. This guy's trying to do it. Now nah, it was the other way around. Oh, this guy just wanted directions and this employee was just being ignorant. He swung on him first. It is what it is. You can with that you ever heard that song about boys in the hood? Well, Jeezy and them, you can talk all that you want, but don't put your hands on me. Real song. You can talk all you want to. Don't put your hands on me. Don't spit on me. Don't bump me. Don't hey buddy me. But damn sure don't smack me or swing on me. Don't swing on me. You know, but that is what it is. I ain't going to be long on that, man. Alec Baldwin ain't going to get, you know, you know, too much shine off me, bro. Uh, but that is what it is. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase the chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop a video. 
Financially, you want to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Um, check the current news, the music entertainment playlist. Um, other than that, man, hit my link tree. It's the first link in the description. You find me on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, Cash App, Instagram, Anchor. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, you know, Venmo, PayPal, all that's there. Just one couple couple links take clicks take you where you where you want to be so it's very convenient but i uh, appreciate you girls and guys let me know what's in the comment section peace